so back in the spring of um, 2018, uh, me and my co-founder, we were quite excited about this crypto thing. And obviously, there, there had been 2017 when everything went up and then everything went down. Uh, but nevertheless, we figured, you know, this crypto stuff is, is pretty exciting. Uh, why don't we just uh, leave our jobs and go do a crypto startup in the middle of 2018? And so what we tried to do was to raise some money. So we first quit our jobs, uh, so cut our salary, and then tried to fundraise. Um, so we did a few videos for accelerators, um, one of which you can see here, where we pitched our hearts out on, on video. Uh, didn't really work out, but nevertheless, we wanted to do this. So we were sitting up in Norway, which, uh, I don't know if you've been there, but it looks something like this. And so we were sitting in, in the depth of the crypto winter in 2018 in, in Norway, realizing we, we don't have any money and we also don't really have anyone to sort of sell or give this product to that we want to build. So we were scratching our heads, uh, had about a week uh, into our journey, and then we realized, okay, so up here, no, nothing is really happening. We probably need to go and find the, the right folks that actually you know, still care about this crypto thing um, after all the corporate blockchains and private blockchains and all of that had died. Um, so we realized that there was this hackathon in Berlin in like four days and everybody's going. This is where all the real folks are. So we decided, okay, we have to get there. But it was definitely sold out, just as sold out as it is this weekend, and no spots left. So we were really wondering what should we do. But two days before the event, um, there was this project called Colony that sponsored the first Eat Berlin. And we had actually contacted them and tried to do some user research um, a little while, while earlier that summer. And so their founder, Jack, he tweeted out that he had a couple of extra tickets. So I went ahead and emailed him and said, you know, I, I saw you had some tickets for ETH Berlin. Uh, we are working on an analytic solution. It would be perfect for us to spend the weekend working on Colony and being in Berlin. And there you go. Uh, a few hours later, a day later, uh, he replied and said we could have the tickets. So um, with that, we decided let's go to Berlin. Um, since we hadn't managed to raise any funds, uh, we had $3,000, which is the minimum amount you need to start a company in Norway. So I think we spent about 1000 of our $3,000 uh, to go to Berlin on short notice and come to this event. Um, and it turned out to be a fantastic um, investment uh, for us and for Dune. So we found ourselves in Berlin. Four years ago, almost exactly, um, we were extremely excited. Um, I was actually sitting in this very room and listening to probably what was one of the first presentations um, and being incredibly hyped about meeting the folks that actually build cool things in this space and really do it properly. Um, so we were hanging out around here um, in the backyard, among other things. And we were absolutely starstruck by all of these projects that we had heard about, that we had used. I remember there was Zero X, there was um, Kyber, and a lot of projects that we really looked up to, that we were incredibly excited about. And we really hadn't met in person basically anyone doing cool things in crypto before. So this was massive for us, super exciting. Um, and as you can see here, my, my co-founder with big eyes um, at It Berlin 2018, we were incredibly pumped to be here. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm an economist, and this guy is an engineer. And, and we found a dune together. So I figured, OK, we want to do this analytics thing. And we were about two, two weeks in, so we hadn't really had time to, to build that much. Um, so I figured, OK, we need to figure out if, if, if this is useful and if we you know, are onto something. So I went ahead and embarrassed him by drawing some charts that I presented to people. So I 
poured my soul into, I, I, am a, I have a really horrible handwriting, and this is the most beautiful thing I managed to put together. We were running around here four years ago um, with a notebook um, to show people, you know, what we can build uh, analytics for your crypto thing. Um, so, you know, do you want this? And I can trust, I can tell you my co-founder was absolutely ashamed uh, as an engineer to have to, you know, be, be with me and, and see me selling this stuff that he had definitely not built yet um, at, at this event. Uh, but this was the, the very, very start of, of Dune. Um, and actually, it um, turned out to some, somehow work. So we were at uh, drinks at a beer garden just uh, down the street here. And that's where we met uh, Nadav, which uh, is now the CTO of OpenSea. Um, he was then the founder of a company called Dharma, a lending protocol. Uh, I remember listening to the Unchained podcast on the bus on my way to the venue that morning um, and met him at, at this bear garden and he, he was then on that podcast. Uh, so I was rather starstruck, but um, it was great. Uh, you came here and realized that all these people are super approachable and nice and, and this is a true community where people you know, are, are all open and, and excited to, to be working on this same, same things. So this led to them actually becoming the, the first customer of Dune uh, three months later, um, when, when Mots had actually built something uh, in code rather than just me drawing charts. Um, so so that, this was really the, the first sort of proper step for us uh, in, in Dune, and we really wouldn't have been able to do that without coming here and being with all the, the, um, the right people that really go all in on this space. Um, so that was amazing for us, and all in all, what's fantastic about ETH Berlin is that there's a lot of people building and hacking and doing incredibly exciting things, both during the hackathon, but also all the things that they're working on. It's, it's a rare group of people that really, really, you know, go deep in this space and, and care about it, um, and that is... Pretty cool, my impression that still today, you know, for this weekend, uh, that remains true, even though the space is way bigger than it was four years ago, that same spirit remains, which is incredibly important. And just this first hackathon four years ago, I remember several incredible things being built over that weekend. So for instance, um, there was this project that connected the Estonia e-residency card to uh, the blockchain, you could sign transactions with your um, government ID. Um, that was a project that was built that weekend. Uh, another one I remember, which is a huge deal, is the Gurley testnet. It was built, um, the first version, uh, on the first ETH Berlin <laughs> over a weekend. Pretty incredible. So there's amazing things being built in these 48 hours or so. Uh, in at ETH Berlin, and Berlin is also an amazing city to to be in around this time of year. Um, the second time we came here in 2019, uh, I remember in particular me and my co-founder having been here all weekend, and we went to a beer garden, and we were sitting just talking long into the night, and started to we were incredibly excited because we had a moment of. Now, this thing can actually work out. This actually makes sense. Uh, there's so much happening, so many people building, and this thing that we're working on called Dune might actually become something you know, meaningful one day. It was still just the two of us. We didn't really have that much money, but we really, really felt like a moment where we felt like, wow, this, this thing is going to be something. Um, we celebrated that with a one-hour kebab line in the middle of the night, this was like 2 a.m., um, and, and had some amazing kebab, which you also can get, obviously, in, in Berlin. Um, I also remember the, I think this was the after party, uh, somewhere around here. Um, a, lot of, a lot of cool folks and a lot of cool events happening uh, around Eat Berlin. Um, and on that note, 
What I also really, really like about East Berlin um, is the vibes and staying true to the sort of ethos of, of you know, being a little bit, um, let's call it anarchist, a little bit different, a little bit anti-establishment, and really, you know, maintaining that um, vibe and those ideas. Um, and, and keeping the Berlin spirit and the crypto spirit. And obviously, as we can see on all the visuals that we have here today, maintaining that spirit, which I think is uh, incredibly important. I really like being in crypto because of these things, because there's more than just like corporations and big business, blah, blah, blah. But there's true passion into what's being done, what's being built um, for the whole space uh, and movement as um, as a whole, uh, and I feel like Eat Berlin really captures that same spirit, um, and, and it's a great example of that. Um, another example is uh, 2019, Eat Berlin Swai. Um, there was a Bauhaus team to the event. Uh, there were these amazing po posters, um, and I even brought one of them home. So in my office, in my apartment, um, I have an Eat Berlin Swai poster uh, on my wall. If you're ever on a video call with me, you will see this poster in the background. I think it's uh, a beautiful thing. And this displays this passion that I think uh, goes into Eat Berlin, that I think is reflected in everything that happens here um, and makes me so excited to be here. And even more so than just taking the, the poster home, you know, this, this was the Eat Berlin Zwei website um, and I, I think the, this Bauhaus expression is really beautiful. So when we did our own conference for the first time yesterday, DuneCon, um, I told the team that, you know, I, I think we should get some inspiration from here. I think they maybe overdid it a little bit, but this is what our website looked like. Uh, so consider it a homage uh, and an ode to, to the It Berlin Zwei uh, expression. Uh, we thought it was amazing and maybe almost copied it, but at least uh, uh, it's because we, we love it. Um, and so our whole setup yesterday had similar vibes um, with uh, sort of a hint to, to the Bauhaus expression that, that we saw at It Berlin's wife. And so all of this to say that um, Dune is very, very grateful for It Berlin. I don't think I would be working on Dune today, if it wasn't for Eat Berlin, especially the first time around, we got a chance to meet people in the space for the first time, um, and it mattered a lot to us. Um, we think it's an amazing event. We're back as a main sponsor this year, which um, I feel very good about, being able to contribute to making this happen. And um, with that, I just wanna wish you a great hackathon. Uh, and the shameless plug is that we launched our API yesterday, so you should build on it. Uh, I think we have some prices. Um, but uh, I want to say happy building and enjoy the Eat Berlin spirit. Thank you. Thank you.